Well, good morning. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Isn't the Lord good? Yes, he is. He is. He's certainly brought us and he's taught us that we just want to just love on the Lord, love on one another, and uh, certainly thank God for all of those who are listening in today and join in with us on the Facebook. We certainly appreciate all of you who are here. We just want to praise our God, praise him from whom all blessings flow. God is a good God, isn't he? Oh, yes, he is. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, in the name of Jesus, we come. We bless your holy name. We bless you this day, God. We thank you for every good, every perfect gift that you have given. We pray now that you would open our hearts, our minds, God, that whatever is said and done in this place, that God, it will be pleasing and acceptable in your sight. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your son, Jesus Christ, who came, God, to give his life die on that Roman cross and then put in a borrowed tomb but early that Sunday morning rose up from the grave with all power in his hand because he lived we can live we can face tomorrow we thank you right now touch right now Lord we pray touch by your power touch by your anointing reveal yourself God show yourself strong Oh, you are able, God. You are able to do it seedily, abundantly more than we can even think or ask. We love you so much. God, we just pray that you'll be in our midst. Those who are listening to us, God, we pray your glory, your strength, and your power upon them. We pray that whatever is said and done in this place, that it might be pleasing and acceptable in your sight. God, we just pray for all of those those who are sick, those who are in the hospitals, those, God, who are sick at home, we pray by the power of God that you reveal yourself, God. Show yourself. We pray that you'll touch right now. Touch right now, God. God, we pray right now. We pray, oh God. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, Sister Dorothy, Thompson and family. We pray, oh God, for Sister Barbara's family and God, we pray in the name of Jesus. Would you please, sir, look and have mercy. Guide us, God, from one good degree of grace to the other. We need you right now. We ask you to please, sir, look and have mercy. God, we pray for Sister Pam Harris. She was taken to the hospital on last night. We pray, God, in the name of Jesus, that you would touch her body. And whatever is going on, whatever has happened, God, we pray by the power of God that you would just touch right now. You know you can do it, God. There is no secret what you can do. What you've done for others, you can do for her. Would you please, sir, look and have mercy. Thank you for Sister Ashley. Thank you for all of those who are here. We praise your name, God. We praise your name. We bless you today, God. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, touch right now, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We love you. We just can't make it without you. Have your way. Have your way. You are the power. We are the clay. It is in Jesus' name. Your glory. We give you praise. We thank you, sir. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. I'm going to read a passage of scripture to you this morning. <clears throat> this is a passage that uh, comes from our Sunday school lesson this morning. Uh, one I think is very befitting. As I've said many times when I was growing up, this is a particular passage of scripture we would always hear uh, in revivals. Amen. 
Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves to the righteousness of God. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. For Moses described the righteousness which is of the law, that the man which doeth those things shall live by them. But the righteousness which is of faith speaketh on this wise, say not in thine heart, who shall ascend into heaven, that is to bring Christ up again from above, bring him from above, I'm sorry, that is to bring Christ down from above, or who shall descend into the deep, that is to bring up Christ again from the dead. But what saith it? The word is not the even in thy mouth, and in thine heart, that is the word of faith which we preach. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here today. We thank God for those on Facebook. We just thank God for the privilege and opportunity of our coming to share together. And just believe God, knowing that he is God, that he's a way maker. Hallelujah. Thank God for your spirit. God, thank you. Thank you right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless you indeed. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We love you, dear God. We love you. We love you. In the name of Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. Amen. Amen. We're just blessed of God. We thank everyone for being here. And uh, again, we just want to pray and ask God blessings upon everyone. We're going to, uh, I'm going to ask Brother Joe, where does he go? Amen. He's, uh, anyway, we're going to, we certainly want to uh, continue to remember the uh, Thompson family, keep them lifted up before the Lord. And uh, we, we do have a uh, something from uh, Sister Jacobs that we were supposed to read last Sunday and I I apologize we were going moving about pretty fast and, and uh, my wife was going one way I was going another way and Minister Nikki she was proclaiming the word so uh, but uh, we want to try to get that uh, done uh, today and uh, we will have uh, a little pictures show thing we want to show here today so you all pray for us and pray with us that God's name will get the glory for all of the great things that he has done thank you so very much we'll have uh, uh, ask Brother Doug if he'll just lead us and uh, we'll just go from there amen thank you Good morning, St. Mark. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Why don't you give the Lord a rousing round of applause for his goodness, for his mercy that is shown towards us. Come on, come on, clap your hands, all ye people, and shout unto God with a voice of triumph. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Precious name of Jesus, Satan, you have to flee. Tell me who can stand before us when we call on that great name. His name is Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus. We have the victory. Come on, put 
those hands together. Oh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we have the victory. In the name of Jesus, fresh the name of Jesus, say that you have the wonderful name of Jesus. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Come on and bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Oh, no other name I know. Oh, there's power in, in the name of power in the name of
Okay, here we go. This extra special thank you note sent to you today holds more appreciation than any words can say. For you're among the nicest people I have ever known, and you'll never be forgotten for the thoughtfulness you've shown. Thanks for everything. Love, Judy Jacobs. And she says, says, words can I express the feelings I have and offer to you for the support, love, and prayers from you. I love you all. Thank you. Amen. That's from Sister Judy Jacobs. God bless you. The sight before us is that of a strong and good nation that stands in silence and remembers those who were loved and who in return loved their countrymen enough to die for them. Yet we must try to honor them, not for their sakes alone, but for our own. And if words cannot repay the debt we owe these men, surely with our actions, we must strive to keep faith with them and with a vision that led them to battle and a final sacrifice. Our first obligation to them and ourselves is plain enough. The United States and the freedom for which it stands, the freedom for which they died, must endure and prosper. Their lives remind us that freedom is not bought cheaply. It has a cost. The willingness of some to give their lives so that others might live never fails to evoke in us a sense of wonder and mystery, and how they must have wished, in all the ugliness that war brings, that no other generation of young men to follow would have to undergo that same experience. As we honor their memory today, let us pledge that their lives, their sacrifices, their valor shall be justified and remembered for as long as God gives life to this nation. And let us also pledge to do our utmost to carry out what must have been their wish, that no other generation of young men will ever have to share their experiences and repeat their sacrifice.
Amen. We bless God. Thank God for the video that it was just shown. And we certainly want to thank God for those who have served. Amen. Many people who have lost their lives. They left home not knowing whether they would return back home. Whenever you join the armed services, you understand that a war could break out at any time. Things happen. But thank God for brave men, brave women who will go and serve for their country, even if it means having to give up their lives. We just bless God for those who have given their lives as well as those who have gone and served and returned back home. We certainly honor those we have here at the St. Mark Baptist Church who have served in the uh, armed services, uh, Air Force, uh, Navy, or whatever branch, Army, or whatever branch. Uh, I think it's important for us to let them know that we do appreciate uh, their service. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God Almighty. Amen. We're going to uh, get ready here for our offering, and we do want to ask that we remember those that uh, are going through some tough times. Uh, certainly, we want to remember uh, Sister Barbara, uh, Barbara's family, uh, Sister Dorothy. Uh, Thompson and family, we want to uh, lift them up. Uh, I understand that the uh, services will be uh, next Saturday, I believe. And uh, I, I would really love to go, but I think that's uh, the time that I'm going to be hopefully headed back to Arkansas from uh, uh, Illinois. I'm going to uh, service uh, with our cousin there in uh, Peoria. So pray for us. Uh, my uh, son-in-law is supposed to go with me, and uh, he said he was born to drive, so I don't mind letting him drive. <laughs> he can drive all the way if he want to, there and back. Amen. But thank God uh, for all of you who are here. Let us continue to pray uh, one for uh, the other. Amen. 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 I want to thank uh, Minister Nikki on last Sunday. Uh, my wife went one way, I was going another way. Uh, I, I was able to uh, uh, hear Sister Nikki almost all the way uh, to the Macedonia Baptist Church when I came around the circle where the uh, going down to there uh, she went out on me. I was in a dead spot, so uh, I didn't hear her close, but I know she was closing good, so thank you. Thank you so much. Mighty, mighty good job. Mighty good job. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Appreciate everyone. Let us remember uh, to keep praying for Sister uh, uh Sister Charlotte's uh, sister, uh, Elaine, Sister Elaine, I know that. <laughs> sister Elaine, and uh, is, uh, I think she had surgery this week, right? Okay, so uh, we want to uh, be praying that she have a speedy recovery. Amen. So thank all of you. Thank everyone uh, for being here. So good to see all of you, Mother Ashley and Good to see uh, Sister Moxley. She's she's coming along, and we bless God for her. Sister Gwen is back. Amen, amen. Thank God. Thank God for all of you who are here uh, today. Sister Debbie, 
Uh, my prayer must have helped because she didn't have a smile on her face last Sunday, but I prayed for her. And she's smiling today, so thank God. Thank God for everyone that's here. We're going to ask that uh, we'll prepare uh, for our offering. And uh, we know we can't be God-given no matter how hard we try. Amen, amen. All right, and after the offering, we will have uh, uh, another selection. We'll go ahead and go into our message. the grateful heart give thanks to the holy one give thanks for he has given Jesus Christ his son thanks bless the Lord does anybody here feel like you need to give him thanks the rich Lord, the Lord has done. he's done so much for us, for us we can't even begin to tell it all let the weak say I am strong oh yes yes let the poor say we do thank you we praise you we bless you indeed we pray God that you will just touch our hearts and minds that whatever is said and done in this place already has been said 
those things that would come forth from our lips today. We pray, God, that you would allow your spirit to take control. Use us, Lord, in thy service. Draw us nearer each and every day. We love you, God, and we do thank you indeed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Oh, glory. Glory to God. Glory to God in the highest. Amen, amen. I would that you would turn with me to the uh, 40th number, or 40th chapter of Isaiah, 40th chapter of Isaiah, and I uh, do want you to be praying for uh, my friend and prayer partner, uh, Reverend Theotis Brown, as I uh, preached his anniversary last Sunday, he was in the hospital uh, while I was preaching, and uh, he's out of the hospital, but he has uh, some, some pretty tough issues, so please, let's be praying for him. Uh, he has some things that's going on. I uh, don't feel at liberty to just go into all of that, but... Uh, uh, he needs our prayers. Amen. He needs our prayers. Amen. Amen. Let's just believe God. Amen. From the 40th, from the 40th uh, chapter of Isaiah, 40th chapter of Isaiah, I want to actually read starting at verse 30. Verse 30, I want you to pray for me and to pray with me. These words are found therein. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. Praise God whom all blessings flow. I want to talk to us the, today about the benefit of being able to wait. The benefits of being able to wait. There's, there's something to be said for having that ability and that gift to wait. One writer says, wait. And I, again, I say, wait upon the Lord. That's important. That's important. Isaiah was one of those who had had personal encounter, personal experience uh, with the Lord, and he knew that it paid off to wait upon him. You know, when I think about waiting, and I must be very serious. I must be uh, very honest. There are times, Brother Bill, I don't like waiting. I don't like it. And sometimes it seems that the wait is by far longer than I have anticipated. When it comes to blessings, I want to see some right now blessings. As a matter of fact, I want to see it right now, quick and in a hurry. Because sometime waiting is a load that we really don't want to bear. 
And yet Isaiah says, they that wait. Sounds like he had had some experience of waiting. And it's not just waiting, but it's learning to wait upon the Lord. We've been told when I was quite a young man, I've heard those old sayings that God moves in mysterious ways and his wonders are to perform. Sometimes it just get hard, Brother Marcia, waiting. You told me to wait last week. And the wait time of the week has come and gone. And here you come back today to tell me the same old thing. Wait. You told me to wait. I wasn't feeling well. He said, wait on the Lord. He'll take care of you. He'll bring you through two, three weeks, a month or so later, I'm feeling even worse than I was feeling when I first started waiting. And all you have for me is just wait. And then we come up with that Smart saying, you do know weight is what broke down the bridge. Yeah. We, we, ju we just say things that just come to our mind, whether it relates to what's going on or what it is. But we get irritated. We get upset. We feel sometimes like we have been left behind. We're down for the count. And the writer of Isaiah says, they that wait. It doesn't matter if you are old, if you're young, if you're male, female. In each life, every one of us have to learn to wait. Waiting can be painful. Your heart get heavy. The nights get long. Waiting. Tell me anything, but wait. I've heard that enough. Here you come back with the same old story. They that wait upon the Lord. And that's important for us to know. We're not just waiting. We're not just waiting to be waiting. We're waiting upon the Lord. If you're weak, and seem that you've gotten weaker, that's more of a reason why you ought to wait. Because he promised to be with us, never to leave us, never to leave us alone. That song says that, Sister Ashley, please be patient with me. God is not through with me yet. Yet. <laughs> you gotta wait. You 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 gotta you 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 gotta serve your time. Wait. It is so important for us to learn to wait. Notice from the beginning of the chapter, it says, Comfort ye comfort 
my people, say is your God. Speak comfort to Jerusalem and cry out to her that her warfare is ended. Wow. It's ended. And yet there are still problems. The weight is still heavy. I'm at a place now that I feel like I'm about to lose my mind. What am I waiting for? Wait upon the Lord. And every now and then, we discover in life our waiting is something that may really be manufactured by God. The one that we're looking to help us out. He's at the head of this thing. I'm not making it up. Look at, look at scripture. You could look in Job. The Bible says Satan was going up and down. Going to and fro. And God comes to him and says to him, what are you doing? And Satan says, I'm going to. I'm going fro. I'm seeking of whom I may devour. You, you, you would have thought God would have immediately said, leave my people alone. Don't mess with my folk. But it was God who pointed out Job. And God says, have you considered my servant Job? He's a, he is a perfect and an upright man. One who fear God shows evil. What a conversation. And Satan has the nerve to say, yes, I have. I've had my eye on him for a while. But I've noticed some things. Yeah, you got him. And he's, he's hanging on. He's doing well. But it's because you got a hedge around him. But if you move that Hedge, I'll make him curse you to your face. Every now and then, my brothers and sisters, we need to understand some of the things that we are going through is just a test. It's a test. I don't always like tests. Don't, don't, don't always like tests. I know there, uh, there are people, you know, in the school system, they, they tell us you, you got to have the test. That's the way for us to find out if you really get getting what we're trying to teach you. But I don't like tests. Just ask me, what's one and one? I'm not going to tell you it's three. It's two. If you ask me, was it one and one plus a hundred and ten times a thousand times? Now I might need to work. But it ain't that serious right now. And so God has to permissively allow some things to transpire in our lives to help us to understand that he's with us all the way. Take the hedge from around him, and I will make him 
curse you to your face. Have you ever felt like there was a hedge around you and you felt safe and secure, but all of a sudden, it seemed like the winds of life came and blew everything away and you were almost standing there naked. What do you do when you don't know what to do? Where do you go when you don't know where to go? How do you act when you don't know how to act? And Isaiah said, they that wait on the Lord. Knew your strength. Waiting is something that requires patience. It not only requires patience, Brother Mark said, but it requires participation. God, listen, God has not set you up for failure and to leave you out there by yourself. He's, he's wanting you and I to participate in what he is about to do to and for. For us. Just know I got your back. I got your back. And ten children. At one time. They're all wiped out. And you got my. It's hard enough to lose one child, but to lose 10? What's, what's wrong? What's, what's going on? What's happening? I prayed over my children. I've laid hands on them. I've anointed them. And now all of a sudden they are all And as if that was not enough, look at me. My body is breaking down. Sores all over my body. Pulse coming up out of the wounds. My body begin to stink. Stink so bad until my wife is trying her best to hold on to her integrity. And she says, enough is enough. Why don't you just curse it and die? Don't, don't, don't give up on Job too quickly. For even Job had that something within him that he says, woman, you talk as. He did not call her foolish. He said, you talk as one of the foolish women. The Lord giveth. And the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. They that wait upon the Lord. Waiting, waiting can be. How do I wait? How can I do it? 
we used to sing that song down at St. Thomas, trouble in my way. I have to cry sometime. But I know Jesus will fix it. When? After a while. <laughs> After a while. Yeah. Let, let me help us right quick. I'm, uh, I don't want to bore you. I don't want to worry you long. He says, they that wait upon the Lord, God would move in such a mighty way that you could mount up on wings as we eagles. Run, not be tired, and walk, and not faint. They that wait upon the Lord. Hallelujah. You learn to wait in humility. You learn to wait in meekness. You learn to wait by keeping the commands of God. You learn to wait by endurance. There are times you just gotta, gotta wait. I want to, I want to cut across the field because I, I, I don't want to bore you, don't want to wear you out, but I, I think it's important that you understand this. This, this is a text that kind of blows my mind because it, 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 it doesn't necessarily go the way my thought process would run. If you really look at it, here the writer says, they that wait upon the Lord, renew your strength, you mount up on wings as eagles, run, not be tired, walk and not faint. Catch this. Reverend Chester Jones, one of my old buddies, he, he, he's a good friend of mine. We go to the gym, we work out, we kick it, we talk, and we'll go sometime, we'll go have some breakfast, we'll go to Cracker Barrel, we may go to IHOP, we, we may go to McDonald's, we go, we go somewhere, all right? But I learned... I learned, a, James, listen, I learned a valuable lesson. We go to Cracker Barrel and, uh, and, and we go to AHA. It, here, here's what blows my mind. The scripture said, they that wait upon the Lord. When I go to Cracker Barrel, we have waiters who are waiting on us. Now, you'll catch that in just a bit. We, we have waiters who wait on us. Now, if, if I can understand anything about Waiting, I, 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 I happen to think, you know, if I'm in trouble, if I'm having a problem, and uh, 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 sister, sister Softly, uh, every once in a while, you know, at the gym, you, you be at the gym, and we, we're at the gym, and you, you land on the bench, and uh, uh, you get you a spotter. You, you, you get you a spotter. That, uh, that, that spotter is really not there to lift the weights for you. The, way, the spotter is there to help you when you get in trouble or if you get in trouble. And sometimes you, you can be on that bench and uh, you know, you, you, you're doing uh, 50, 75 pounds, you go <laughs> You get up to 100 pounds, you get the <laughs> You get up to 150 pounds, he said, you watching me? You, you, you watching? Watch me now. And you go, Shh. you come back down, Shh. and you watch, 
Yeah. You, you go up. Now, I don't want him looking all around the gym. I'm, I don't want him looking at some young lady. Whoa, I, I, no, no, buddy. You keep your eye on me because this weight is heavy, and if it goes down, I might not be able to push it back up. So you can't go off talking with everybody. <laughs> so Isaiah said, they that wait upon the Lord. And one of the things that I discovered in the text, more than just us, Waiting on the Lord. If you'll flip the script, you'll find that he is waiting on us. Somebody didn't even get that. That, that was an amen place right there. He's waiting on us. We go, we go out to Cracker Barrel and out, out at Cracker Barrel. Now listen, I, you know, uh, sometime I'll get in there before uh, Rim Jones. Sometime he'll get in there before me, and and he always assume he know what I want. And there are days I don't want no coffee, but he'll go ahead and order me some coffee. I'll drink some coffee. I don't want no coffee, but 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 he does. He's being nice, you know. And uh, so uh, he's an already ordered, and and so we're gonna have to pay for some I really didn't want, and I had to drink something almost some, all of it, that I didn't want. But you know who brought it? The waiter. The waiter brought it because the waiter wanted to please the customer. There are things that God is doing on our behalf, and he's our waiter. Y'all don't hear me. You, Sister Gwen was was talking about talking about that she had some breathing problems and all of that kind of stuff. You you you, you ever stop and think about that over in the night? As, as a matter of fact, uh, this morning I was at the gym this morning and I'd be back there on, in the massage chair and uh, I was listening on the uh, oh yeah I'd be back there on the massage chair and all that. But I was I was listening to the television uh, the, you, you know this morning. And, and they, had, they had something on there about, listen, listen, y'all, I thought about Kathy. I said, oh, Lord. They, they, I, no, I, I thought about somebody, you know. But anyway, uh, they, they, these people had, they had some tape on their mouth because they said it ain't good to breathe through your mouth. What? You know, and so I'm, I'm listening, you know, because I'm, I'm trying, and you know how people snore? Well, how do they snore? <sighs> they, they get the mouth all open or whatever, you know? But, 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 but they're they telling you there's certain things you need to do to make sure your breathing is right. Amen? Because some things can cause you more problems uh, than they they can do good for you. Now, now, so so I'm saying, Sister Gwen, why, why you why you why you laying up there and you can't breathe good and you doing all of this and that and all of that? You you know you 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 think it's 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 a uh, uh, some medicine? It you know it, it may be this that. No, the waiter is waiting on you, and his name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. Do you hear me? You hear me, Sister Moxley? Sister Moxley, she, she was going alone and, and talking about her voice wasn't right and, and, and this wasn't and, and not able to, no, no, it, it wasn't, it wasn't Jerome Moxley who was really taking care of you. The real waiter was in glory. He was waiting and watching over you even when Gerald was asleep and you were asleep. He was the one that was waiting on you. And so when, when it talks about they that wait, it's, it, what, we, what we're doing is being patient. Just understand it. 
I can go ahead and go to sleep. I don't know if I'll wake up or not, but all I know, I'm going and I'm depending on the waiter to watch over me. They that wait upon the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I, uh, woo, glory, glory. I, I listen to, we, we be on Wednesday night and, and, and Sister Ashley be on there and, and we praying and, and most of us, we're going to pray for her and everything. But one, one thing I, I like about her, she, 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 you'll see her coming. You, you're watching her on the, on the Zoom. She's coming and she's coming. She's getting close to Brother Ashley and she said, one thing I want to say and I want to pray for y'all. She always said, and Pastor, one thing I want you to do is keep your hand in the hands of the Lord and she'll start praying. Let me tell you something. That, that's, that's what you have waiters for people that will wait, people that will depend on God and allow God to give you what you need and tell you sometime in the midnight hours when you wake up, somebody prayed for me. Somebody had me on their mind. Somebody took out the time and prayed for me. They that wait upon the Lord. I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters, every now and then you think you out for the count, but all I'm trying to tell you, wait upon him. They that wait, they that wait upon the Lord. He'll renew your strength. You can mount up on wings as eagles and run, not be tired and walk and not faint. Oh, God, help us, help us today. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. They that wait upon the Lord. The Lord will renew your strength. And you know how he, he can renew your strength? He's the only one know when you get weak. And he not only knows you have gotten weak, he knows exactly how weak you are. He knows when we are about to throw in the towel. There are a lot of people, that, you, you, you know what? There are a lot of people, and, and, and you know, I, I, I think I understand. I think I understand. I think I understand. There are a lot of people, they said, Lord, come on, get me, Jesus. Come on, get me. I, I, I remember my daddy. My daddy, he used to make me laugh. My daddy, I, I love my daddy. My daddy, good man. He, he'd make me laugh. He, boy, he'd be up there. He'd oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Come on, get me, Lord. I'm ready to go, Lord. Oh, come on, Lord. Get me. Uh, well, maybe not right now, Lord. Hold on a little bit. <laughs> well, you, 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 you playing with God? Were you telling him to come get you now? Uh, did you see him headed that way? You said, no, not right now. I don't know what. But I'm telling you, he's the waiter. He knows. And every now and then, even in the restaurant, uh, we think we are the only one that is needing to be waited on. My God from glory. I look sometime and, 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 and listen. I'm, I'm gone for real now. But every once in a while in the restaurant, I was there. I was there. Reverend Jones, I, we, 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 were, we were there. Sometime even with Kathy and I, we, you know, we were there before these other people got there. And how is it our waiter over there waiting on them? But you know what? They hadn't forgot you. You can believe that. They coming back. And, and unlike God, they coming back because they looking for a tip. And don't fool yourself, God's looking for a tip too. If it ain't nothing but thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless your holy name. Thank you, Lord. Learning to wait is learning to be appreciated or being appreciative, rather. Learning to be appreciative and saying, God, I thank you. Thank you. If, you know what I learned to pray? You know, when I go to, the, to the, these restaurants, I do it even in my own house. I, I, I have a prayer. Somebody told me, said, well, Pastor, I ain't never heard that prayer before. Well, you, you know, 
just just keep living. You might hear some more. But I tell the Lord, Lord, thank you for this food that we're about to receive. God, make us appreciative. Make us thankful for the food. God, bless that it will do us no harm. It will do us good. I'm, I'm telling you, you don't know. It, it, and it don't have to be anything anybody has done to the food. Have you ever seen people who were sitting down? I, I witnessed a, a baby or somebody. I don't know who it, Oh, it was a baby. Just just the other day, uh, I, I was in the uh, Shalosky or whatever that thing is called, getting me a bowl of soup. I, you know, I was getting me a bowl of soup, and all of a sudden, the baby is over there just throwing up. And I and 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 the man, you could tell he didn't know what he was doing. And 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 the baby, and, and of course he was trying to hold his arm up and all this. And and so the the lady behind the, the thing, she ran out there and she says. Look, let me help you. Let me help you. And so it was a small baby. And uh, she, she caught the baby some, some kind of how and turned him over and said, said you know, when the, when the baby, you got, you got to push from the back there. You can't, you can't do all that in the front. You'll choke him like that. You, you need somebody who knows how to wait. And God will put you in places when he knows that you are going to have a, a emergency, and he has somebody already there. You know what? That wasn't that person. It was God. God who uh, set that thing up, and God who allowed this thing to happen that everything would work out in place. They didn't wait. Just wait. We got to learn to wait upon the Lord. And just know he, and we think we're the one doing the waiting. He's the waiter. He's the one watching. And he's watching and he's keeping a close watch on us. He's watching over us. He's uh, my God from glory. Hallelujah. They did wait upon the Lord. He'll renew your strength. Have you ever felt like you, 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 you was about to, uh, about to lose it? Everything was about gone. It felt like uh, I, I don't know if I'm going to make it through the night, going to make it to the next day. I don't know. But one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to trust in the Lord. I'm going to trust in him. I'm going to wait on him. I'm going to know that he is God. And God has proven himself more times than, a, than you can even think about. He knows how. He knows when. He knows where. Hallelujah. I hope this encouraged somebody's heart. I hope it will just encourage somebody's heart. Because I'm telling you, if it had not been for the Lord on our side, we couldn't have made it. We couldn't have made it. It gets rough sometimes. It gets very tough. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Woo. I never, never will forget Brother Bill and I. We was, we was uh, going down uh, Higdon, or coming up Higdon, one of them. And I asked Reverend Bill, I said, Reverend Bill, why did you just run that red light? <laughs> Reverend Bill said, I ain't, I ain't run no red light. I said, well, Reverend Bill, I just want you to know this. They got cameras up there. And they don't even have to be here. They, they just take your license number and send a ticket to your house. Reverend Bill said, show enough, man. I said, sure enough. He said, start praying. <laughs> start praying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they, they you, you know, I ain't playing. They, they sent me one way from Texas. I'm, I done got all the way back to Arkansas and get a ticket in the mail. You know what? And they got my license number, too. Don't fool yourself. But God, God knows how to take care of us. So let's learn to wait on God. And I'm telling you right now, my brothers and sisters, as I close to go to my seat, I, you know, I'm not satisfied when I see small numbers like this. I'm not. <laughs> and sometimes I could, I, could, I, could, uh, I could try to put the blame on myself. I could put the blame on y'all. I could say, they ain't trying to 
help. Uh, and say, well, maybe I ain't preaching good enough, or maybe this, maybe that. No, we, we can't put it on nobody. Folk do what they want to do. They do it when they want to do it, and they do it how they want to do it. But I tell you what, God knows how to bring us together. And step by step, we're going to make this journey. Even though our way seems hard, we got to learn to wait upon the Lord and know that he is God and that he's able to bring us through. Hallelujah. There are some things, you know, you know, even, even in your own home, you know, with your, you know, parents and different things. And, and sometimes you get a little, say, man, wow, what's really going on? You don't even have to know what's going on. All you need to know, wait on God. Trust in the Lord and know that he will bring us through it. Amen. You know, one of the things I've learned, today may be your day, but tomorrow's coming. It's coming. And in each life, some rain must fall. Thunder must roar. Lightning will flash. But it's the same old story. If you'll just wait, wait upon him. He'll renew your strength. You'll mount up on wings as eagles. You'll run, but not be tired. Walk, and not faint. I don't know how you feel about it. But God is able. He's able to bring us out more than conquerors. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As I think about my friend, Pastor Brown, and hallelujah. They come here one day, they tell you, well, you got this going on. Then they come and say, you got this going on. Before evening is over, they tell you, you got this going on. And you say, how much more? Just when you thought you think nothing else can be going on, it can. But you know, Trust in God. Trust in him. I was talking to him the other day and he was sounding a little bit down. And my encouragement is this. We preach it. We got to believe it. God knows. Hallelujah. We try to encourage our people. Hang on in there. Stay strong. Know that he's God. He's watching over us. And you're talking about the waiting. He's a good waiter. He feeds us when we're hungry. One of the things I've noticed about waiters in the restaurant, you can fool around and you can drop a cup of coffee on you. And sometimes it seems like they're not even close around. And they come running with a towel. They come, let me get this for you. Let me get that for you. But God is good. You wait on him. Trust him. Hallelujah. think about and I love talking to older people I've always loved talking to older people sometimes I try to call Sister Jackson pretty regular and I'm just amazed 
person I knew five years old or so and, and to remember things. I, you know what? I was telling um, the men yesterday, I, I wish, I wish, I, and I pray Sister Nikki can get up and it can be 50 children in this place and she can call every one of them names. Sometimes I be praying, Lord, help me to remember names. Just remember folk names. A man come up to me yesterday and shook my hand and told me and said, Pastor, thank you. Thank you. And I could kind of remember his face. I don't, be, I don't even know his name right now. And he told it to me. But I know who his folk is. <laughs> yeah. He said, yeah, your son and I, we went to school together. And I said, oh, yeah. Now, just show you, I ain't completely gone. He told me that before. I remember when he said it. But I still don't know his name. Sister so, Nikki, that's a, that's a class you ought to teach, teach people how to remember names. I'm serious. I, I have the heart. My, my wife sometimes, y'all be doing this teaching though, but sometimes my wife, people will meet me and they're just talking to me. And my wife, she, she can't, hate, can't wait for them to walk off. She said, who was that? I said, why are you asking me that? Then she said, you don't know, do you? <laughs> you know, I, I be praying, though. I said, Lord, let me remember. Don't let my mind go. I can't remember no name. But, but you know, when I was growing up, everybody's name was Donald, John, Gene, Jane, Lee, uh, Bob. We didn't have all these other names like people have today. Amen, amen. God bless. May we stand. If you get nothing else, just know God is available. And he knows who we are. He knows where we are. I may not remember names, but I try to be a good listener. I try to remember things. And I always remember encouraging words from Mother Ashley. It's one thing I want to tell you. Reverend, you stay with the Lord. It get rough sometimes, but the Lord will bring you through it. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to trust God right now. It may be somebody on the Facebook who is listening and they are saying, you know, I need some help. I feel like I'm laying on a bench and this weight has got so heavy that if I drop it, it's going to crush my chest. I need somebody to just reach down and help pull it up and rack it. God is able. And so many times when we don't even see him, He's there, patiently waiting to fix it for us. God is good. The doors of the church is open. My letter, Christian experience, the turn away for baptism. If you are here, know that you are God. Besides you, there is none other. We pray that you bless each person in this house. God, just allow your Shekinah glory to be revealed within all of us. Teach us how to walk, God, in a way that uh, would bring your name glory. We thank you for all. In the name of our Lord, our Savior, Jesus the Christ, we thank you, we praise you. We bless you indeed. To you that is able to keep us from falling, to present us spotless before the Father in heaven, your love, your majesty, sweet communion of your Holy Spirit, rest, rule, and abide with us now and forevermore. the Lord.